FBI informant threatened into silence by Obama admin during Clinton-Russia scandal. Would you looky here? Oh, my, my. It's the Obama-Clinton-Russia collusion not the Trump-Russia collusion. There was no Trump-Russia collusion that was just a distraction to get the public thinking there was and to deflect the public from the real news. Clinton and Obama sold out America to Russian and then threatened an FBI informant. Friggin' unbelievable. The news came as the Uranium One, Clinton Foundation scandal exploded with the revelation that the FBI knew about a widespread scheme of financial malfeasance on the part of Russia designed to get a foothold in the United States uranium supply. That malfeasance not only included bribery and kickbacks but also blackmail and money laundering, The Hill reported. The allegations shed new light on one of the more controversial deals that took place during Hillary Clinton's tenure as Secretary of State. Clinton signed off on a 2010 deal that allowed the Russian state-owned firm Rosatom to acquire a controlling stake in the Canadian mining company Uranium One after substantial contributions to the Clinton Foundation and former President Bill Clinton himself, from individuals connected to the deal. The unnamed informant is being represented by Victoria Tonsing, a former Reagan Justice Department official. Tonsing told The Hill that her client witnessed a lot of bribery going on around the U.S. involving Russian officials. However, she said, the Obama administration forced him to sign a non-disclosure agreement about what he knew that would prevent him from testifying before Congress. When the unnamed client tried to bring forth some of the allegations in a lawsuit last year, the Obama Justice Department threatened him with loss of freedom, Tonsing told The Hill. They said they would bring a criminal case against him for violating the non-disclosure agreement. The Hill also published parts of emails written by a civil attorney to Tone Singh's client that described the pressure being put on him. The government was taking a very harsh position that threatened both your reputation and liberty, one email reads. In another, the attorney wrote, as you will recall the government made serious threats sufficient to cause you to withdraw your civil complaint. Now, Newsweek reports, Congress would like to have a word with the informant about what he knew when he knew it, and what the Obama administration wanted him to keep quiet about. That's great news for people who want to get to the bottom of how Vladimir Putin's Russia managed to get such an extensive foothold in America's nuclear industry. For Hillary Clinton and other Obama administration officials? Not so much. Here's a sad and sick fact. On May 17, the day Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein appointed former FBI Director Robert Mueller as special counsel charged with investigating possible Russian collusion with President Trump's campaign, Julian Assange at WikiLeaks tweeted a WikiLeaks released State Department cable documenting that Secretary of State Hillary Clinton ordered Mueller to deliver a sample of stolen highly enriched uranium, HEU, to Russia in 2009. That's right folks. These scumbag Democrats. Obama, Clinton, Mueller, Rosenstein. They knew the details of the real collusion with Russia had nothing to do with Trump and everything to do with them. Of course, I want to know how an investigation of a Trump Russia collusion can be led by Mueller and Rosenstein? Aren't these the same exact people who were involved in the cover up of the Obama Clinton Russian collusion of the sale of Uranium One? Shouldn't Trump's DOJ force Mueller and Rosenstein to resign? How can we have two unethical people who covered up the real collusion investigating the fake news of the Trump-Russia collusion? Wasn't it Mueller who was in charge of the FBI in 2010? Wasn't it Mueller who tried to keep the investigation of the Clinton-Obama uranium one deal quiet? Isn't Mueller the one who is investigating a possible Russian interference in the election? Come on man! Do you really think there's nothing wrong with this picture? Can you say cover up? I guess Trump was right about crooked Hillary, but now there's more crooks. Mueller and Rosenstein. Time for President Trump's DOJ to say dot dot to Mueller and Rosenstein dot 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 you're fired, you're fired.